After infusing his body with lightning with his special ability, he decides today will be the day of reckoning. As today, he will make sure the s rank Scar will never trample over him again. As such, he enters the Overdrive Realm, where he sends Scar straight on top of Mount Everest as the Firebender reaches climax. The next morning back at Guild Headquarters, Pastor is busy at his cubicle, as he talks to himself about how the latest Boy Stops Time chapter has some pretty crazy art. So he peeks during work hours again which is why you can't see his hands as they are too busy doing something else. However, his secret sussy area gets infiltrated by Scar, as she slowly makes it over to him subtly saying hi to everyone else so that no one can get suspicious. Unexpectedly, the Rabbit Master ends up whipping out a brand new app on his phone, somehow allowing him to have powers akin to X-ray vision. He then combos his new power with some imaginary ones, so he ends up picking some clothes for her, confident that it'll suit her. After work, the two end up back at home together, where Scar gets to go on another scenic bike ride over the mountain. Things then take a literal turn, as Pastor flips over the bike, just to make sure he gets his proper fix of the workout. In the end, Scar repeatedly starts shouting one of the most common passwords of all time, so if you use Master as your password, better go quickly to change it. Anyways, he ends up realizing that he's actually starting to like Scar as he's slowly getting more attracted to her, even though he's doing this to put her in place. Scar then cries tears of joy, as her dreams are being fulfilled as the hero gets filled, much to the annoyance of Pastor. He then gets even more frustrated, as this is a show of power for him, but Scar does not regret anything as she's just loving every bike ride and activity they do together. As such, he decides to infuse himself with lightning again and proceeds to make Scar turn into a leaking water fountain, still unable to realize that she likes him. Pastor then begins to lose it mentally as he doesn't understand why Scar hasn't broken down yet or admitted defeat, so he keeps on going saying it's not enough. Eventually, he approaches the limit of his stamina bar, due to him going extra fast, like the speed of light, so he begins to think where he can unload the gallon of milk he's carrying. After Scar looks back at him, Pastor is flabbergasted, unable to believe that Scar looks like she wants to continue cosplaying. So he begins thinking how annoying she truly is. Out of nowhere, the s rank super mage ends up asking Pastor to whisper to her that he loves her. So he gets absolutely confused as he now thinks that Scar is also a master actress, since there's no way she can act hypnotized forever. Thus, he denies her requests. Instead, he turns her over to the face-down seat-up police as he whips the donkey, sending it into a frantic craze. Scar then accidentally passed out, due to the overloading electricity affecting her circuits, but Pastor made a tragic rookie mistake. He ended up too tied up in his mission, so he broke his stamina limits, causing him to leave a trail of milk in a place you should never leave. After finally realizing his mistake, Pastor began panicking as he didn't mean to do so since he got derailed due to his excitement. With only one choice left, he decides to activate his forbidden powers to try and teleport his milk trails away from the unintended target, but it's a tall task since he's never tried teleporting something other than himself. Nonetheless, he took a deep breath, and away he went, totally focused since he doesn't want a mini lightning god running around anytime soon. After the intense battle, it somehow worked, so now he can totally cross that out of his bucket list. Afterwards, he sat down totally dejected as his constant attempts to get Scar to apologize for bullying him, has failed every single time. He then looked down on himself as he began thinking about what will happen when he faces off against other S-Rank Awakened, since his app doesn't work and Scar is just pretending. After face palming, he ends up just hoping that maybe the other S-Class will just pretend being hypnotized just like Scar. A flashback then occurred, back when the two were still little. As the two were busy eating the classic fried Pikachu, Scar called over Pastor to ask a question. Upon getting close face to face, Scar asked what Pastor wanted to really be when he grew older. Without any hesitation, he mentioned that he knows that he definitely will be an amazing hero in the future. He continued to add on by saying that you will beat up every bad guy out there, so he could help all those that are weak. After he finished explaining what he wanted to be in the future, Pastor asked Scar the same question. She then looked down flustered as she says she just wants to be a good bride. But since she got embarrassed, she changed her answer to her also wanting to be a hero, so she can have unlimited money for pork cutlets. It's then revealed that Scar has been in love with him ever since their childhood, and even till now, Pastor never understood her true intentions. Back in the present, Scar finally woke up after what felt like an entire decade, as she lost all her energy from biking. Upon waking up, she finds herself fully clothed, confused, since she can't find Pastor anywhere. She then has some kind of apparent random recollection from a dream, but she just finds herself in her mansion with white and pink pearly gates. Nevertheless, after gaining enough energy to sit up, she mentions to herself how she keeps dreaming about something that happened in the past, 
But dreams are just dreams, so she stretches herself up wide awake. As she continued stretching, her maid walked in, reminding her that her daily breakfast and morning bath is ready whenever she wants. The maid then curiously asked her if she perhaps remembered anything that happened yesterday before she arrived home. Apparently, she arrived home in a very messy state through a taxi, as she was found totally unconscious. Scar then gets embarrassed as she claims she probably was just drunk, so she tells her assistant that she doesn't need someone to pick her up after work. Afterwards, she motioned to the maid that she can leave now as she says she's going to go get ready for work. After being left alone, Scar can't believe the state she's in now as she's allowing a lowly F-rank dictate her every move. Nevertheless, she still has to go to work today even if she can barely move due to Pastor's electric dancing moves from last night. As she finishes getting ready, she reminds herself that she's Scar Rate, one of the world's only few S-rank awakened, and also the heir to the prestigious Rate family. She's Yuna Team Leader of Team 1 for a top guild called Liar's Trap. She's basically stronger than every man on the planet, Yet, last night, she can't lose the feeling of her being demolished by one last night. It was so intense that Scar can't even remember much of what happened and all she knows is that the two finally fused their pods together. She continues by saying that she could literally have any man in the world, yet she gave away her first time to an F-class nerd. As such, Scar is super happy as she was finally able to feel what it's like to be a super mess rather than always being a superhero. She then adds a joyful scream, proclaiming that she finally completed her mission, losing her number one to the F-class nerd she's always waited for. She's glad she waited, as she compares their romantic relationship to chicken and beer, as those two foods are a match made in heaven. Regardless, she finally finishes and completes her shower inside her massive bathroom, which includes an area she can have tea at. Scar then activated her special fire abilities by creating an inferno from her hands, somehow not setting off the fire alarm. Using the special inferno, she's able to quickly dry herself up, as it's a rate family secret, called the hot drying method. Afterwards, she reveals that since she's the first one to successfully fuse the pastor, she's going to tell the rest of the S-Class what happened so she can see all their freaked out faces. Right before she heads to work fully ready, she says out loud that she's going to make her dream be a reality sooner rather than later. Back at the Liar's Trap Guild headquarters, Scar eagerly waves at some of her team members, causing them to say good morning confused as they never see Scar in a good mood during the early hours. As such, they notice and call out how she seems to be in such a good mood today. Scar doesn't even deny it, so she continues glowing with her smile, asking them shyly if it shows. Rumors then spread like wildfire as everyone in the building now assumes that Scar must have finally met a man she truly likes. Later, as she sits in her office, she surprisingly gets approached by Pastor. However, he acts aloof as if nothing happened the night before, claiming that he's only here to upload all the payment documents from the morning. Meanwhile, everyone gawks from afar as they make fun of Pastor for being an F-rank behind his back, but little do they know, he's the one destroying an S-rank's back. As he uploads the files in her room, Rabbit accidentally almost falls asleep as he was sleepless due to all the paperwork he gets for being weak. Luckily for him, he's jolted awake as he instantly replies back when Scar calls his name. As Scar points to a corner with a sleazy look on her face, she asks Pastor if he can come with her somewhere for a moment. Meanwhile, the rest of her team members look on, absolutely resenting Pastor, as they think he's being let off the hook for being an F-class due to the two being friends. Anyway, Scar ends up bringing him to a super secluded area of the guild headquarters. After double-checking to make sure that no one can be heard nearby, Scar mentions how it's good that nobody seems to be around. Now if I was Pastor, I would already be totally suspicious, but bro is dense like my rock, so Scar Yun has to clear her throat to give him a hint. Unfortunately for Scar, he doesn't get it, since he always salutes back as if he thinks he's still in the army. Since all of her hints are going over his head, she begins to ask about yesterday and mostly if he returned home safely, even though they were at his place. But he still doesn't understand, so she tries to give more hints and explain more, unfortunately, to no avail. Eventually, she's had enough, so she channels her inner sussy Baka and begins to be more straight and direct, just like my gender. But then, Pastor denies everything she mentions as he claims that he doesn't know what she's talking about since he went straight home after work. With his response, Scar starts to look like she wants to destroy him, but in a bad way. She ends up realizing that our boy somehow still thinks that she got hypnotized by the apt, so he's denying all plausibility. As such, she begins to activate her powers, absolutely frustrated at how slow Pastor's brain has been moving this entire time. Now fully powered up, she changes the subject and asks where the hell the uploaded documents are since she asked for them before she got to work. She then sent him flying off like Teen Rocket, as she's given up on her dreams today, due to how dumb Pastor is. Meanwhile, as the fiery scar lets off some steam on him, a woman is seen spying on them behind a pillar. 
The woman is revealed to be Aya, as her curiosity got the better of her, since she found out that Scar had to take a taxi home super late at night. As such, she followed them to investigate more, hoping that maybe they didn't get to do the deed yet. Aya then began to look sad, as it dawns on her that maybe they did, so she starts to think that she must have used some kind of secret trick to win him over. However, Aya just watches on as she allows Scar to absolutely obliterate Pastor over and over with her powers. In the end, Pastor is left inside a crater, where he asks himself why Scar is like this, since it was just only a moment ago they found herself too busy gasping for air underneath him. Nevertheless, he stays down on the ground, thinking to himself he needs to go scold her, but he can't even move since he got hit by an actual S-Class. But luckily for Pastor, out of nowhere he hears someone faintly calling his name. Upon looking up, he discovers it was Aya asking him what the heck is going on. She's then quick to heal him, while he mentions that it was actually Scar that hit him really hard for no reason at all. After fully recovering, he gets up nonchalantly, thanking Aya for her S-Class healing powers as he now feels even better than before. Afterwards, he asks her if she's seen the Prodigy Eam lately, as he has some questions for her. Aya looks up surprised, so she makes the excuse that Eam is not around since she's busy traveling right now with her new inventions. We then discover that Eam was the one that told Aya to make that excuse, as none of the S-Class leaders want Pastor questioning Eam about the Hypnosis app. To divert his attention, she quickly makes use of her whale personalities and begins attempting flirting with him. Aya even goes as far as asking him out, as this was her prime opportunity to strike, as none of the other S-Class girls are around. This catches Pastor off guard, as he wasn't expecting the legendary Aya to ask him out, since he's not ready to use the app on her. Thus, he makes an excuse that he will be unfortunately unavailable, even though he knows he can't resist.